Okay, third time's a charm, Hey Inspired Tribe. Uh, if you're watching this, maybe you've seen it. We tried to go live two times and it didn't work. Uh, the connection is not really good where we're at and I might show you if I can uh, turn around the camera here why it's not that good, but let me make it this way for you guys. There's quite a lot of snow out there. Um, but I felt inspired to tune in with you. Uh, we're in a little bit of a remote area here and I wanted to tune in with you because there's such a freedom momentum going on and people keep sending us emails and we're so thankful, keeping us in the loop about what's going on, beautiful videos, um, beautiful things. And I just happened to watch, um, and I really don't wanna give a lot of airtime to that, but I just happened to watch a quick, a quick snippet of um, Canada's crime minister, Justin Trudeau. And um, it's, it's sad to watch because what we're seeing is this um, cornered rat syndrome where they're so scared of what's happening and there's really nothing to be scared um, of because this is really just freedom loving people, loving people with good hearts everywhere in the world, just completely up, you know, they're, they're just, we're, we're all just done with this nonsense, done with this crap. No one's waging war, no one's being violent. And these are good hearted people, thousands, tens of thousands of truckers, uh, hundreds of thousands, millions of people, this is spreading across the planet. And now these um, these politicians are coming out and they're wanting, you know, it's kind of a last straw uh, attempt to make people believe these are racist or bad people or people that want to incite violence. It's just nonsense. And you know it, we know it, and, and just don't fall for that trap. These are really, really like 99.9% .9 wonderful people. There's always some bad apples, but that's just life. But we have such an amazing momentum for freedom right now. And it's an energetic momentum. You all can feel it. Um, but it now expresses on the outside. And so many of us, so many of you have been waiting for this. You've been asking, what can we do? What can we do? But this momentum of desiring freedom, of putting this out there, of inspired action is now manifesting in this physical reality that we see. So we see this momentum happening. And now it's up to us to keep it going expanding it, adding to it. There's no turning back now. This, this will not stop until the people are hurt. And here's one more thing. You can do whatever you want to do. If you don't agree with the people that are out, that's fine. If you want to get experimental gene therapy, that's fine. Who's holding you back? Who's stopping you? No one. But for those of us who don't want to and who want to keep autonomy over our bodies and who want to exercise freedom because it's our birthright, we're going to continue to do that. We're not fighting anyone. We're not telling anyone what to do. But likewise, we don't want to be told what to do. If you can understand this, if we can all understand this, then as I've said so many times before, we are building the greatest alliance in human history. The Alliance for Freedom. That's the only thing that matters. We don't need to agree on religions right now. We don't need to agree on the fine print right now. We just need to agree that we're going to respect each other's freedom. And that's what this is about. I want to applaud all the truckers in Canada, all the people supporting them. I want to applaud law enforcement that's coming out supporting the truckers, sheriffs, police officers all over the place. Um, many other countries, it's happening now in Australia. I'm hearing reports from everywhere. I'm trying to confirm that before we share that. But it's happening because the momentum is here because people want freedom and they want to return. And I'm not saying return to a lifestyle, but return to a sense of I am in charge of my life. And this is what we need to get back to. We are in charge of our own lives. I don't need some um, politician or quote unquote health expert or unhealth expert tell me how to treat my body and what to do with my body. It's just not their call. It's ne it never was their call, never will be their call. And so the, the message also to the politicians, to those is, why don't you just join this movement? Why don't you just um, stand up for freedom because it's going to benefit you, your children, your grandchildren in the long run too. And that's just important to us. So that was this quick message um, from the beautiful snowy mountains here. And um, we are 100% behind the truckers in Canada, the truckers everywhere, freedom-loving people everywhere. We will support any nonviolent movement always that, um, that is for peaceful noncompliance. This is important, peaceful noncompliance. And as long as that's the case, we're always behind you 100%. Uh, thank you all for sending the, the emails, for sending contributions, for also sending contribution, contributions to the GoFundMe of the truckers. I think they're up to $10 million now. They need that money because they need to sit this out now. There's no turning back. 
and um, it might get a little worse before it gets better. We're in the center of the storm. Hold the line. This is what's happening now. We will not back down until freedom is fully reestablished and um, until people are finally able to go about their lives and live their lives the way they want to. All right, Inspire Tribe, thanks for tuning in. We love you all, and we'll talk to you soon.